In this video, we will be studying about the silk and the life cycle of the silk moth. Now, see in the previous video, I have told you that how the fiber, uh, how the fiber is converted to a wool. Now, in this video, I will tell you that how you obtain the silk and the life cycle of the silk moth. See, silk fibers are also the animal fibers. Silk worm spins the skill, uh, silk fibers. Now. See, this is the female uh, silkworm that lays many tiny eggs. It is laying many tiny eggs here. These are the tiny eggs that you can see in this video. Now, female moth is, uh, you know, laying many tiny eggs and they live on the leaves of the mulberry. And they grow bigger and bigger on the leaves of the mulberry. Now, after uh, they eat the you know leaves and they grow on these leaves after that they leave the leaves and they become larva you know this is the silkworm or the larva now the silkworm feeds on the leaves and grow now when it is ready to enter the next stage in the uh, life cycle it starts uh, weaving a net to hold itself see now the caterpillars what they do they start weaving the thread like structure the nets around them in order to protect themselves now this thread like structure inside which there is a caterpillar known as pupa is known as cocoon now it then secretes a fiber made up of protein which hardens on exposure to air now this is the silk fiber it covers itself completely with this fiber to form a cocoon now see, this is larva, these are the caterpillars. In order to grow big, what they do, in order to cover themselves, they uh, secrete fiber and weave around themselves. Now this uh, fiber around themselves is known as cocoon. Now at this stage, when they are weaving this fiber around themselves and inside it they have, uh, uh, you know, caterpillars, in that stage they are known as pupa. You call them as pupa. Now the pupa grows and changes its size inside the cocoon. After few months, this pupa is growing inside the cocoon, inside the silk fiber that they have surrounded themselves with. Right? Now after some time, this pupa grows and changes inside the cocoon. A few weeks later, the cocoon opens and an adult moth comes out. Now this pupa is growing after some time this uh, you know this cocoon opens up from upside and these caterpillars these adult caterpillars or you can say the silk moth they come out from this cocoon. Now this cocoon which is a fiber like structure that is uh, you know weaved around the pupa or the small or the uh, baby caterpillars are the main source of fiber you get the silk yarn from this this is the silk fiber and this is the life cycle of the silk moth that uh, this uh, i have shown you in the diagram here are the eggs that are laid down after that they grow themselves on the mulberry leaves and known as larva after that when they are grown up a little more they start weaving a fiber like structures which is high in protein and which hardens on exposure to hair this is the silk fiber and this silk fiber that covers them is known as cocoon after few years later they become the adult and leave and this opening this cocoon opens from the top and they come out these caterpillars come out in the form of silk uh, silk worms or silk moth now this remaining part this cocoon is used as uh, the silk fiber you get the silk fiber from this cocoon now see there are various types of silk fiber that are very popular that are the sar silk then moga silk kosa silk And the most common silk moth is the mulberry silk moth. Silk moth or you can say the silk worms. 
Now they stay, uh, the eggs stay on the mul mulberry leaves and get the food from the mulberry leaves in order to grow bigger and bigger. I hope you have understood the life cycle of the silk moth or you can say silk worm and how you uh, obtain the silk fiber from this coupons. Any doubt, do write us on the comment box and don't forget to download our scholars learning app.